everyone, I'm Joyce the Dentist and today we're going to talk about tonsil stones. Tonsil stones are, as you might have guessed, literal hard, stony-like objects that are lodged inside of your tonsils. Now, not everybody gets tonsil stones, but the people who do typically tend to get them over and over and over again. Eventually, they may need to have their tonsils taken out to prevent the tonsil stones from coming back. So who tends to get tonsil stones? People who have these crater-like pits or potholes on their tonsils. We call them tonsillar crypts or crypts for short. These crypts are basically the result of scar tissue developing after repeated tonsillitis, strep throat, and recurring infections. Now as those crypts form, all of the natural bacteria that floats around inside of your mouth can also get lodged in these pits. It's similar to how plaque builds up on your teeth. Food debris can also get stuck in there. But unlike cleaning your teeth with a toothbrush and floss, the food debris and bacteria in your tonsil crypts simply stays there and starts to accumulate. Now if you remember with your teeth, anytime plaque doesn't get removed, it starts to calcify and harden into tartar, or what dental practitioners call calculus. Similarly, bacteria in your tonsils can also start to calcify, only it's tucked inside of a soft pocket of tissue inside of your tonsil instead of connected to your tooth. As that residue begins to calcify and harden, it forms a visible tonsil stone. While it's not an equal comparison, you can almost think of it like how a pearl forms inside of an oyster. Except in this case, it's not pretty and it can smell really bad. <laughs> Since tonsil stones are made up of bacteria, food debris, and dead cells, they can cause issues like bad breath and irritation to your throat. Sometimes people don't even realize that they have tonsil stones except for the fact that they're experiencing sore tonsils or have halitosis that they just cannot get rid of. So what you wanna do is see a professional such as your dentist or even your ENT. Your healthcare provider can look at your tonsils to see if there are stones building up inside of the crypts. If there are, they can also remove them for you. Tonsil stone removal is fairly quick, non-surgical, and it's a procedure that can be done with small instruments. And while I don't recommend it, some people will also remove their own tonsil stones by gently pressing on their tonsils with a cotton swab or their finger until the stone pops out. As you might have guessed, this can also cause some serious issues like triggering your gag reflex. DIY tonsil stone removal isn't necessarily a great idea because you can actually cause some pretty serious damage to your tonsils or the back of your throat, especially since everything is so slippery back there. As I mentioned before, people who have a lot of tonsil stones or just keep getting recurring stones over and over and over usually benefit from having their tonsils removed. Why? Because those tonsil crypts don't go away. And again, there's scar tissue that creates those little pockets. So as long as those pits are there, you'll be susceptible to tonsil stones. Thankfully, there are some things that you can do to lower your risk of getting new tonsil stones without having to get your tonsils removed altogether, such as gargling with a warm salt water rinse. The salt water helps with inflammation and irritation, plus it will also help swish out any leftover food residue after meals. Or better yet, gargling with an alcohol-free antiseptic mouth rinse as a preventative measure. This will help keep overall bacteria levels down, reducing the severity and frequency of your tonsil stones. And finally, try to stay ahead of infections by addressing things like allergy symptoms, sinus infections, or any other conditions that might cause mucus buildup in the back of your throat. This could mean seeing an allergist or medical provider and taking a daily over-the-counter medication to manage sore throat or a constant post-nasal drip. Last but not least, don't ignore the warning signs. If you think you have tonsil stones, be sure to talk to your dental or healthcare provider as soon as possible. And if you found this video helpful, subscribe down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!